Herod Archelaus Greek, Herodes Archelaus Herodes Archelaus, 23 BC, c. 18 AD was ethnarch of Samaria, Judea, and Idumea biblical Edom, including the cities Caesarea and Jaffa, for a period of nine years circa 4 BC to 6 AD. Archelaus was removed by Roman Emperor Augustus when Judea province was formed under direct Roman rule, at the time of the census of Quirinius. He was the son of Herod the Great and Malthus the Samaritan, and was the brother of Herod Antipas, and the half-brother of Herod II. Archelaus a name meaning leading the people, came to power after the death of his father Herod the Great in 4 BC, and ruled over one half of the territorial dominion of his father. Biography <inaudible> 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 Josephus writes that Herod the Great father of Archelaus was in Jericho at the time of his death. Just prior to his final trip to Jericho, he was deeply involved in a religious conflagration. Herod had placed a golden eagle over the temple entrance which was perceived as blasphemous. The eagle was chopped down with axes. Two teachers and approximately forty other youths were arrested for this act and immolated. Herod defended his works and offered an attack on his predecessors, the dynastic Hasmoneans. Herod killed all male lineal successors of the Hasmoneans. The Pharisees had long attacked the Hasmoneans as well, as having parentage from Greeks while under bondage. This racial slur was repeated by the Pharisees through the rule of Alexander Janius and Queen Salome. With this explicit background given, Josephus began an exposition of the days of Archelaus. Reign before Passover of 4 BC. Archelaus dressed in white and ascended a golden throne and appeared to be kind to the populace in Jerusalem in order to appease their desires for lower taxes and an end to the political imprisonment of Herod's enemies. The demeanor of the questioning appeared to turn at some point, and the crowd began to call for the punishment of those of Herod's people who ordered the death of the two teachers and the forty youths. They also demanded the replacement of the high priest, from the appointed high priest of Herod's to a high priest less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 of greater piety and purity. Josephus does not tell who would be less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 of greater piety and purity. To this request, however, Archelaus acceded, although he was becoming angry at the presumptions of the crowds. Archelaus asked for moderation and told the crowds that all would be well if they would put aside their animosities and wait until he was confirmed as king by Caesar Augustus. Archelaus then left to feast with his friends. It was evening and as the darkness settled, a mourning and wailing begin over the city. Archelaus began to worry as people began streaming into the temple area and those who wailed for loss of the teachers continued their very loud mourning. The people were escalating in their threatening behavior. The Thackeray translation of Josephus here states it thus, The promoters of the mourning for the doctors stood in the body of the temple, procuring recruits for their faction. Josephus does not tell us who these promoters of the mourning, who recruit from within a body inside the temple, could be. Archelaus then sent a general, some other people and finally a tribune in command of a cohort to reason with these seditionists to stop their innovations and wait until Archelaus could return from Rome and Caesar. Those who came from Archelaus were stoned, with many killed. After the stoning, those who stoned the soldiers returned to their sacrifices, as if nothing had happened. Josephus does not tell who performed the sacrifices in the temple. It was after midnight, and Archelaus suddenly ordered the entire army into the city to the temple. Josephus records the death toll at 3,000. Archelaus sent heralds around the city announcing the cancellation of Passover. Archelaus quickly sailed to Caesar and faced a group of enemies, his own family. Antipas, the younger brother of Archelaus who was deposed from Herod's will days earlier, argued that Archelaus merely feigned grief for his father, crying during the day and involved with great merriment. During the nights, the threats carried out by Archelaus ending in the death of 3,000 in the temple were not just threats to the worshippers in Jerusalem at Passover, but also amounted to a threat to Caesar himself, since Archelaus acted in every manner a king, before such title had been given by Caesar. At this point, Nicolaus of Damascus argued to Caesar that Archelaus acted appropriately and that Herod 
S. Will, supposedly written a few weeks prior yielding the kingship to Archelaus and against Antipater, should be seen as valid. The change of this will in favor of Archelaus is given as Herod's true choice and, it is argued, occurred with Herod being in his right mind since he left the final decision to Caesar. The change of the will appears as one of Herod last acts and it is attested from Jericho by one Ptolemy, keeper of Herod's seal. Nicolaus of Damascus had been Herod's confidant for years. He was loyal to Rome. Ptolemy was Nicolaus of Damascus' brother. Archelaus, at the conclusion of the arguments, fell at Caesar's feet. Caesar raised him up and stated that Archelaus was worthy to succeed his father. Caesar gave Archelaus the title of ethnarch and divided the kingdom. Rome would consolidate its power later. Thus, Archelaus received the Tetrarchy of Judea last will of his father, though a previous will had bequeathed it to his brother Antipas. He was proclaimed king by the army, but declined to assume the title until he had submitted his claims to Caesar Augustus in Rome. In Rome he was opposed by Antipas and by many of the Jews, who feared his cruelty, based on the murder of 3,000, but in 4 BC Augustus allotted to him the greater part of the kingdom Samaria, Judea, and Idumea with the title of ethnarch a ruler of an ethnic group. The first wife of Archelaus is given by Josephus simply as Mariamna, perhaps Mariamna III, daughter of Aristobulus IV, whom he divorced to marry Glaphyra. She was the widow of Archelaus. Brother Alexander, though her second husband, Juba, king of Mauritania, was alive. This violation of the Mosaic law, along with Archelaus's continued cruelty, roused the ire of the Jews, who complained to Augustus. Archelaus was deposed in 6 AD and banished to Vienne in Gaul. Samaria, Judea proper, and Idumea became the Roman province of Iudea. Biblical references Topic. Archelaus is mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, Matthew chapter 2 verses 13 to 23. An angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and told him to get up and take Mary and Jesus and flee to Egypt to avoid the massacre of the innocents. When Herod the Great died, Joseph was told by an angel in a dream to return to Judea, presumably to Bethlehem. However, upon hearing that Archelaus had succeeded his father as ruler of Judea, he was afraid to go there. Matthew chapter 2 verse 22, and was again warned in a dream by God, and turned aside to the region of Galilee. This is Matthew's explanation of why Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea but grew up in Nazareth. The beginning and conclusion of Jesus' parable of the Minos in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 19, may refer to Archelaus's journey to Rome. Some interpreters conclude from this that Jesus' parables and preaching made use of events familiar to the people as examples for bringing his spiritual lessons to life. Others read the allusion as arising from later adaptations of Jesus' parables in the oral tradition, before the parables were recorded in the Gospels. A nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and then return, but his citizens hated him and sent a delegation after him, saying, We do not want this man to reign over us. But as for these enemies of mine, said the nobleman, who did not want me to reign over them, bring them here and slaughter them before me. Luke chapter 19 verse 12, 1914, 1927. See also Topic Herodian dynasty Herodian kingdom List of Hasmonean and Herodian rulers Luke chapter 19 Matthew chapter 2 Topic References Topic Topic External links Topic King Herod Archelaus Jewish Encyclopedia Archelaus